John Voight is one of the most famous actors in Hollywood. He's been famous for more than 50 years. So we sat, and he's a conservative, or a ton. So we sat, we'd talk to him about what it's like to be a conservative in Hollywood. And that conversation lasted about a minute, and then it turned into the direction of him and his faith and what that's meant to him in his life. It was not something we expected to talk about at all, but we're glad we did. The full conversation on Tucker Carlson uh, today on Fox Nation, but here's part of it. I was in a lot of trouble at one point, had a divorce, had some problems. And, uh, and I was in this little house that I had. And I was really suffering for many reasons. My career was a little bit in, in flux at that time, and lots of things were going on. My relationship to my kids and wife and stuff. And I was on the, on the floor. I found myself on the floor saying, it's so difficult. It's so difficult. I said it out loud. And I heard in my ear, it's supposed to be difficult. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine? Like a separate voice telling yes. you that. It's supposed to be difficult. A voice of wisdom, kindness, you know, clarity. I mean, it had so much resonance, this voice. What a message. It's supposed, supposed to, be to be difficult. difficult. <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, this is it. And I will, boom, what? I, and I got up and it, and I can tell you, Tucker, that moment in time, at that time I knew, I said, you know, what it meant was, I'm not alone. Yes. Everything is known. Everything is known. I am known. That's what it meant to me. Whoa. This is... Did you expect it? Were you calling out for God? What? You <laughs> expect it? No, but not be out. Now, now I have to proceed with my life, right? <laughs> so... So I, I, but I felt this tremendous energy. It's something, somebody's rooting for me. It's like, don't give up. It's, it's like, you know, there's a purpose here. You know, you've yes. got some ways, you've got a ways to go, son. You know what I'm saying? I, whatever it, whatever you might imagine it meant, it meant. Do you see? And I, and I, got, and I felt great. And so the ne and the next morning, uh, and I, I, I I'm not a person who really prays with the idea that anybody's listening yes. up to that moment. Now I know we're covered, man. Everything we think, everything we say, everything, it's you're known. You know, like they say that God knows every bird that falls. You yes. Know? This is us two kids. We all are known. We're being observed and helped and loved. And we're, we're expected to get up and, you know, do battle, do something, do what's right, whatever it is, you see. There's a purpose here. And the purpose here is to learn our lessons and grow. And, to, and what's the big deal? To give to each other. You know, to... to uh, to be here to be of help. I mean, this is what you figure out. But anyway, then at that moment, I was just interested in me surviving. And uh, so the next morning I get up, I say, what do you got for me today? <laughs> <laughs> and I so turn on the radio. And here's what came up, I swear, it, this is what happened when I turned the radio on, having some fun. I'm having fun, you know what I mean? Because I'm not, I'm not taking myself too seriously, but it's serious. I turn on the radio and it says, I'll build a stairway to paradise with a new step every day. What? <laughs> it's another one. Wait a minute. I mean, what's, what's going on here? Anyway, I had that kind of thing going on for several days, you know, things were happening to me. And then I started, uh, I was kind of drawn to certain things from that point on. 
and uh, and I've had many many experiences, uh, but uh, that was that was the beginning. So that's the moment when you realize that God's real, knows you, and is on your side. Right. What were the implications but, of that? Well, I, got, I had to straighten out. <laughs> mm -hmm. If I'm going to be a vessel for God, I, mean, I better be cleaner than I was. You know what I mean? I better be a righteous fellow. How hard was that? Well, you know, I, I've always had good examples in my life. My dad, as I said, was a very righteous man, my mother, and, and, uh, and I've had many good people in my life. So uh, uh, I just got off track a little bit, and I realized it at that time. And so I've w worked worked since then to be a better fellow. What did it do for your joy levels, for the way you feel every day? That's interesting. Uh, you know, I said some, just a couple of days ago, I was asked about something and I said, then I have fear of the Lord. You know, they say have fear of the Lord. Yeah. I got it. I am really afraid. I'm afraid of offending God, right? Because God is everything. God is love. God is, you know, all these beautiful things, beauty, everything. And I'm going to, how can I live up to that? I need a lot of help. But uh, I think that's the fear of the Lord. It keeps you on the track. You know what I'm saying? You, it, it's, a, it's not a, a fear of uh, frightened of getting uh, you know, attacked by anything. It's a fear of offending, fear of not living up to, yes. a fear of doing the wrong thing, you know, of making a terrible mistake. So all, all of that, you know. But I've, I've been a happier fella. I'm a much happier, I mean, I'm a sad, I, I may not look like it right now. I don't know what I look like, but I'm a happy fella. John Voigt, what a conversation. When God speaks to you, it's not, you're great, good job. It's, it's supposed to be difficult. I've been thinking about that ever since. That conversation went on for nearly an hour. Talked about a lot of things. It was great. The full episode is on foxnation.com right now.